Good morning, everyone. Uh, as you can see, I have a half empty bookcase and some boxes behind me, but that's got nothing to do with today's video. Today's video is going to be another day in the life, but this time, Charlotte edition. <laughs> Actually, I totally forgot there's an entrepreneurship, uh, there's a pitch breakfast they're called that I'm planning on going to, so I'm going to get ready for that now and uh, go see it. It's usually, it's pretty interesting. It's um, actually, it's very interesting. Pretty much new companies and uh, startups get to pitch their idea and you have real VCs and investors who uh, give their advice. It's all for show, so they're not really asking for money, but it's kind of a practice. Uh, for their pitch, but you know, with real feedback and uh, actually it's done really well. So um, I'm going to get ready for that and hopefully I can film a bit of it. Um, I don't know. It depends because I'm, I'm a bit late, so I might be kind of way back. But anyway, hopefully I can get some footage of that and then get back to work. Actually, that was uh, quite interesting. I had to come back home to get some stuff, and now I'm going back out again to a coffee shop. That's one of the advantages of living downtown. I go to a coffee shop now and get some work done, and uh, I'll get to show you a bit of Charlotte, hopefully, too. Actually, a big reason why I'm doing this day in the life, I realized, I really wish, as I mentioned before, my wife and I lived in quite a few different places, and I kind of wish I'd done a day in the life for all those places, because even just for me, to be able to look back like I did one in Lugano and it's kind of cool to look back at my life there. So I don't know. I think all of you who are living in a place that you're not going to be living in forever. So I guess that's pretty much all of you. It might be worth it to record a day in the life. And you don't have to share it with anyone, but just for yourself to keep as sort of a diary or journal. Uh, but I will now continue with my day. I'm going to go to the coffee shop and hopefully it's a nice sunny day so I can show you some of Charlotte. There we go. Ooh, it's bright. Oh yeah. very back but anyway uh, actually my wife passed by so we were talking about some updates and what to do this weekend and stuff like that because we have a whole bunch of errands to run as I mentioned before we're gonna be leaving soon which is also another reason why I'm doing this video you know to kind of track my life here before we leave otherwise yeah I have plenty of work to do so I'm gonna to try to finish that up now and hopefully I'll have a bit more left in the day to show you guys although I don't know I find myself always wanting to get more and more done so my days tend to be pretty packed uh, so I'm trying to keep it down to the essentials today I'm going to finish up some stuff that I have to do lately I've been skipping lunch because I've been eating big dinners and try to have breakfast with my wife in the morning too and uh, so I'm trying to lose a bit of weight
I thought today would be, I try to give myself an easy day today because I thought with filming uh, and documenting everything I'm doing today, it would actually take uh, a long time and I wouldn't be able to get much done, but I'm hoping now to actually make it an early day so I can uh, hit the gym before dinner time. So now I came back home, I need to do some financial stuff, which I don't like to do with the public computer, so I'm gonna do it back here at home, and then finish up uh, the stuff I was working on, and then hopefully I can go to the gym. And uh, yeah, you'll notice you haven't seen much of my wife, or at, at all, in, in mo many of these videos. That's because she doesn't like being in these videos, so uh, um, for now she's my imaginary wife, I guess. Uh, and yeah, then after dinner sometimes, you know, there'll still be stuff, because I work with various different time zones, so there'll still be stuff going on. So I will check email and kind of sort through the stuff and obviously prepare for the next day. But anyway, I'm not there yet. Now I want to uh, get some payments done and finish up my work. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. So I just finished uh, making the payments. And uh, by the way, these are payments that I'm making to uh, other translators that I've been working with. And I try to pay them by Friday every day. Today's actually uh, Thursday, but tomorrow my wife and I are taking a half day to go bunch of, run a bunch of errands, so I wanted to pay them by today. I haven't been paid by the client, by the way, for this job that we've been working on, but I do pay my translators like clockwork no matter what, because that's how it's done. And too often, I just mentioned this because too often I see translators who accept that as an excuse from a client, who say, oh, I haven't been paid yet from the end client, or I haven't been paid yet uh, or there's been a problem anyway, something like that, whatever excuse for not paying the translator. Your contract is with whoever hires you, not the end clients or, or you know, whoever that might be. Whoever hired you is getting paid more than you are uh, because they're, they're taking on that risk. That's what it is. So if I am the agency, I need to pay my translators for the job they did. Anyway, it's just something that kind of, uh, kind of bothers me, so I wanted to bring it up. But luckily, I've done my payments for today, so now I'm going to get back to work and hopefully I can stay a bit ahead of the curve. Yeah. still have some time I'm done with my stuff now finally uh, so I'm gonna go downstairs to the gym and get a little bit of a workout not much but whatever and so let's go do that now So uh, that's pretty much it. That was my day. I finished working out. I actually, we just finished eating. And um, you know, I'm gonna close up stuff and prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a day of, uh, half a day of work and half a day of running errands. But yeah, so that's pretty much my day in a nutshell. Usually, I'm usually just working at home in a coffee shop. And when I have meetings and stuff to attend, that's what I do and that's what I do. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, once again, this was a day in the life of a freelance translator in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Next stop, I'll probably do another one of these in the next place I'll be staying, which will be Taiwan, so that'll be interesting, but you know, that'll probably be in a few months or something like that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. 
If you like this, don't forget to click thumbs up once again so I know which videos you like and, uh, and which you don't. It kind of gives me a lot of a better idea. And um, also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Sabedum.